Hello everyone! Hello! Welcome back to a new episode of Discovery with a K. I am Kathleen. My name is Ilse. And this episode is going to be the last one for this season. Our 24th episode. In total, yes. Crazy, right? Yes. Uh, this has been crazy. It's been a journey. Since summer we started this. And it's been incredible. It's been a lot of work, but... A it's lot been... of work, yeah. Well, I, yeah, I'm very We're looking for it. Yeah, I I'm mean, proud of it. Well done. Good job. Well done. Pat, pat, pat. Pat, pat. <laughs> so, yeah, so I hope you're enjoying this podcast. We're having a blast doing it, actually. We love it. We've been featured some interesting... Yes, some singers. Yeah, singer, artist, bands. Mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, and for this episode, we are going to talk about a rock band. Well, they're rock, aren't they? Pop rock, yeah. Pop rock, yes. And yeah, okay. they're one of my favorite. Yeah, she loves them. I, I I found out about them just this year through Ilse. But you know, if you live and learn, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so today we're talking about the road. Yeah, drum roll. <laughs> So let's just start this. All right. As usual, basic facts, and then yes. we'll get into their discography. Yeah. And we have our last segment as well. So let's get into it. Yeah. The Rose has four members. The Rose, yes. We have Hajun, Wusung, Dojun, and Jaehyun. Okay. They are signed under J and Star Company. Okay. Which I never really. J and Star Company, like no. Right? No, nothing really. Um, their fandom name is Black Rose. Ooh, very fancy. cute, very like fan chic. Um, and they had their debut in 2017 with the single "Sorry." Okay. And since their debut, these dudes have been <laughs> big, rocking it. Yeah. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's get into each of the members. Yeah. And then we'll get into the discography. Yes. So first member is Wusung. Also known as Sammy or Sam who likes some ham. Um, he is the leader, okay. lead vocalist, okay. and electric guitarist. Ooh. He was born in 93. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He is from LA. Okay. And he was on the show K pop star season one. Okay. And Jay from day six was also there. And they're just the babies. Cause, oh. Are they friends? Yeah. Oh, cute. and um, they're also friends with BM from Card. Oh, that is adorable. <gasps> this is the new group. Oh, okay. Okay, it's cute. Anyways, in the group, they each have their own rose, and okay. their own color. Okay. So Wusung is the right rose, and that stands for purity. Oh, okay. Um, he also appears in the music video for Hate You by Ladies Code. And okay. He's like in the background, just like playing guitar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's cute though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, the song is great as well, so go check that out. Yeah. He made his solo debut in 2019 with the EP Wolf. Okay. That EP is fire. Well, I really like this, uh, this song, Your, your face. face. Yes. Face. Just not your face, Jesus. I like your face. Face. Yeah. Nice. Neon names. <laughs> <laughs> Another day. The saga continues. Yes. Um, anyways, yeah, no, great solo debut. Yeah, 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 yeah. So colorful. Was, right? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Um, he also appeared in the show Superband. Okay. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. If you haven't watched the show, what are you doing? Can if someone please just go subtitle it? Because the raw yes. files are out there. The subtitles, however, are not. And I'm just like, <laughs> you know that I feature a uh, he 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 palupa he pa hobby pola hobby pola. Mm -hmm. Here we go again. <laughs> and in one of they discovered the covers because they did a cover for Creep by Radiohead. 
and yeah, the beetle is gone suddenly. I don't get that though, because the others are still Me there. neither, and then the videos of the live version, because after that they had a concert and they sang the cover. Mm -hmm. People standing, just one of the members, please, Yeah, Ruth. solo fan cams. Also, please. also, Happy Polo had a comeback recently with their own original song, Ooh. About Time. Yeah, Girl. well, they're amazing, like, yeah. they're just amazing. Mm -hmm. But you know, it was infuriating trying to find the video. Yeah. yeah, I don't get why they deleted it, but... So weird, isn't it? Anyway, please, next member. <laughs> Film them all. <laughs> <laughs> Make my life easy. <laughs> okay, here we go, next Group member. Stands. Group sense, importance. Uh, Do Jun, main yes. vocalist, keyboardist, and acoustic guitarist. Ooh. Also born in 93. Okay. He is the Red Rose in the group, which okay. stands for passion and yeah. enthusiasm. It's, it's such a weird combo. Okay. <laughs> uh, he lived in New Zealand for five years. Okay. And he was originally a DSP media trainee. Okay. But. That's actually how he met Jae Young, because they were both busking on the streets, right? Okay. And they met each other while busking, and so they were doing it together then. And then Do Jun had a very hectic schedule because he was a trainee, yeah. right? So Jae Young met Ha Jun, who's okay. also a member, and they started busking together, and then Do Jun left DSP Media, and they started busking the three of them together under the name Windfall. They were like an indie group. Right? Okay, and they were like making their own songs, yeah. like, being on the streets. They had there's a YouTube playlist where you can see some of those like actual the level of like right? oh my god. Right. And then Do Jun had met Wusong okay. through a friend, a mutual friend, okay. and they were like, oh Wusong, you should join. It was and, very organic. Right? Yeah. yeah, it's just the origin story. <sighs> also, is. the level of busking. Oh my god. Like seriously. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Anyways, yeah, that's how the rose was formed. Wow. And it's so just, organic. I love it. It's super cute. Yeah, it's not like you you, you just come here. <gasps> They're like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I imagine that sometimes I don't like, ignore that. Uh you you <laughs> no not you you <laughs> After watching a few reality shows, I feel like it's like that. No. <laughs> no, but the rose was organic. Yes. They grew just like a flower. Cute. Get it? <laughs> um, and so, yeah, that was that all happened in 2015. Okay. And then they signed with the company in 2016, had their debut in 2017. Oh. So, you know, wholesome. It worked though for them, yes. Amazing. Yes. Next member is Hajun. He's a drummer, sub-vocalist and rapper, Yeah, and he was born in 94, and he has the Blue Rose, which stands for miracles. Cute. Cute? It's so... Cute. Adorable. It is adorable, yes. The next member is Jae Young. He's a maknae, bassist, sub-vocalist, and visual. He was born in 94, and he stands for the Pink Rose, okay. which means happiness and romance. Oh, cute! Wow. He yeah. also acted in a web drama okay. called Six Love Story that okay. aired in 2018. So go check that out. And uh, if I remember it correctly, the Dojun, Hajun, and Jaehyung they were also in a music video. What was it? Coffee and tea with Solar and um, what's his name? And you're asking the wrong person. I didn't write that down. Anyways, they were all together in the music video as like backup <laughs> actors, you know. So go yes. check that out as well. Go check it out. I'll put the link in the description box because I can't remember the dude's name. Which, anyway, the song is very soft. It's like it's very cute. <laughs> oh. What a team! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so we're very organic so, too, like you can see that. Mm -hmm. Everything is very organic yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we all grow like roses. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next. Yes. Apparently, yes, they're all very obsessed with the movie Sing Street. Oh my god, that is adorable. And they watch it together every first day of the month. No way. Yeah. That is adorable. That movie is amazing. 
If you haven't watched it, just go. It's adorable. I it's love so it. It's so cute. Yes. It's so cute. Yes. And the fact that they have this little tradition, it's just... Cute. <sighs> so wholesome. <laughs> now, interesting story. Yeah. Right? Billboard named The Rose of Sorry as one of the best Korean pop songs of 2017. Okay. And that was their debut song. Oh, really? Yeah. And... In 2018, The Rose won International K Music Awards Most Promising Artist. Well, that's remarkable. I mean, well done. It's just, you would think that they're from a smaller agency, you know, they're kind of like pop rock. Yeah. You know, but their first video for Sorry got like 3 million views in like a couple of weeks. Well, quality. Right? Yes. It's bananas. Yes, it's like, it's... wow. Just... Well done. You, the talent popped out. Yes. Um, they're on a massive world tour right now. They're going okay. like all through Europe and everything. And go check out their Instagrams because aesthetics. Yeah. And oh my God, I was so frustrated. They were posting pictures from like in Brussels, right? Okay. Oh no. And I was like, oh. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, Brussels is my capital, by the way, just FYI. Um, but I was like... Mm. <sighs> we didn't go, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Next, time. Next time. Next time, next oh. <laughs> time. Um, interesting story as well, right? Yeah. In Wusun's EP, there's a song called Wolf. Okay. And he kind of uses a slur okay. in the, I'm not sure if it was in the course or not, um, but fans were kind of quite upset with that, which I do mm, understand, yeah, 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 you know, it's, sense, yeah. it's not, you shouldn't use that. Um, but then I was watching a live performance of that song and he changed the word, so. Okay. Live and learn, you know. Well, it makes sense, like, he, he knows that mm. fans are like that. Yeah. So, good for him. Okay, mm -hmm. you just had to get it out. Yeah. yeah. I, she was very, very upset about it. Like, when that release <laughs> came out, she loved it until... Yeah, she found and the song itself is amazing. And yeah, it's yeah. super catchy and you want to sing along with it. But, that yes. Yeah, no, it had me quite like, oh. Yeah, you, you got like, you were happy like, off that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't add that song to like any playlists or anything because I was I just like, I know it. But yeah, she's been like, like that for a few months. She was like, why did he do that? Why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Adorable. Anyway. Yeah, That's no, it's just. Yeah. I know, I know. I get you want to support, but then that happens, and you're like, what? Yeah, yeah. It's. I've been there. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like what? Hard. Yes. Yes, I know. But you even learn like. Mm -hmm. He probably won't do that again, hopefully. Jesus Christ, hopefully, <laughs> yes, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, no, he did, you know, in the, the live shows and everything, he's, like, not using it, so... Good. Good. <sighs> so, what is next? What is next is... Essential Songs. Essential Songs. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. Essential Songs by The Rose. Yes. I want to say all of them. Okay, how many have they put out? Like, have they, like, do they have a full length album or? Uh, no, they just have a couple of EPs. Okay. Yeah. And a couple of OSTs as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, you know. we're doing pretty well. We are. Yeah. Also, so. <laughs> um, so, essential songs. Definitely sorry, because that song made them who they were. Yes. Are they are right now yeah and um, then red which was uh from the title track from their latest ep yeah yeah then baby she's in the rain okay that song is so dramatic <laughs> living for it <gasps> you got oh you see that magic whoa <laughs> eat that up <laughs> and then candy so good okay 
there's just I love your passion with this. Like she's so passionate. It's just also dramatic, and I'm like living for it. Okay. <sighs> it's just also so good. Like yeah. if you see, like if you listen to the studio version, and then you listen to like a live version. Yeah. It's like same. Hmm. Okay. I said, oh. <laughs> and then I want to recommend Insomnia as well, okay. which is like a B-side track, but good as well. Good, 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 good. Okay. Um, so then Wu Sung's uh, solo stuff. It, I'm actually confused right now that I wrote something down. Um, whatever. Beautiful Girl, which came out like. A um, couple of weeks ago, okay, um, which it has a feature with Peniel from BTOB. BTOB, yes, and that song is actually one of the songs that they had as like windfall, like before they were the rose. Okay, so cute, and the video is like with Wu Sung from like when he was still like not a baby, but like you know before the rose and everything. It's just. Like in the K pop star one sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So cute. Like, you have the then and the now, and it's just oh, so adorable. Awesome. And then Face, obviously, because yes. that song was a bob. Watch that music video. And then the version he did of Sign of the Times and Superband. Yes. Oh, yes. The. Oh. Yes. It's, he gave it like his own style, and that song, even though it's a cover, it's so unique. Like, do you think the belting yeah. in that song? Yes, yes, yes. And like the other guy, I mean, don't really remember his name, um, they, they worked so well together. Yeah. And it's just my heart. <laughs> and it, I don't know why, but every time I listen to that song, I feel like I've had like three divorces or something. <laughs> <laughs> You, you're good? No, I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's just, I don't know, that song makes me feel like so much hardship. Uh, okay. That I haven't even had in real well, life. Well, that's interesting, I guess. It's the power of music. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes, it's the power of music, people. She feels like she had three divorces, even though she hasn't even been married. Yeah, no, ever. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, that's how intense that song is. Pretty much. Okay, there yeah. you go. So, is that it for uh, the rose? Yeah. They're just talented babies. Go stand they're them. Really, really Go be good. a black yeah. rose. Like, just go and watch all their stuff. They're amazing. They're really good. And like the cinematography of everything, of their music videos, is just so awesome. Small agencies are doing so well. Right? Yes. Yes. Like, guys! Stop giving me so much quality content. No, 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 don't stop. Keep it going. Like, stop, but don't stop. <laughs> it's like sweet torture. Sweet torture. <laughs> <laughs> but today we're emotional here. Yes! It's the last episode. Let me live. Okay. Well, season two, last episode. Like, we're working on season three, so. Yes. No worries. <laughs> um, but yeah, it should. They all look like such great kids as well. Like kids, like they're my, whatever, doesn't matter. Kids, um, <laughs> babies, kids, it doesn't matter. Same age, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And um, they just look like such great people. Yeah. Like I was watching a couple of behind the scenes, and they just look like they're having the time of their life, basically. Cute. And like they're like friends, and just you know, they're just bandmates. They're family. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's my fourth divorce, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, that was it for this episode. Uh huh. We need to do our <gasps> our last yes. Yes, segments, segments, segments. So <clears throat> the last song I had to play. No, my new discovery or last song. Uh, let's go with discovery of the week. Discovery of the week is JYP's fever because. I love it. So funky, so jazzy. Love it, love it. Also, the stage in the Mama Awards. Oh. With Mama Moo. With Mama Moo. 
go and watch that scene. The reactions. Not a fan of the see The fans, reactions though. are gold. Okay, Jackson. <laughs> oh my god, Jackson's face. Amazing, amazing, mm -hmm. amazing. <laughs> what was yours? Mine was Meteor by Changma. Okay. His entire album Boyhood. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Like the opening song has like the the voice of like a radio channel. Okay. Okay, and now the last song? The last song I added to my playlist is Take Me There by 415. Mine is, again, CL with Done. Mm -hmm. If yes. you like The Rose, really go check out 415 because they're also sort of like a band. Mm. Um, and their music is great and they're super underrated. So, go watch them as well. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, that was it. Yeah. So we'll see you next time with a new season, new artists, probably some changes. Uh, yeah. That was, that's gonna be Yeah. It. I mean, I hope you had a good second season. Go watch our first season as well. Yes. Everything is like in the description box below, is it like that? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Like and subscribe! <laughs> like us, find us in Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, our webpage, everywhere. Yeah. So there was go check out our webpage because we have interesting articles and like music reviews. Yes. And like top three songs of the week. For every taste actually. Mm -hmm. For every taste. It doesn't matter if you're in pop, into hip hop, into indie music. Well, it's all Korean music, so you do have to. Oh, yeah, yeah. That. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Korean music. Yeah. But different genres, genres within Korean, Korean music. music. And that was it for this episode, so we'll see you next time with more music. And this was Discovered with a K. See you bye.